We have a food insecurity problem here that is higher than the national average. Inadequate access to healthy food is one of the main reasons for visit for many families and community members that come to the health center. So we wanted to address that, but we also wanted to do that in a way that could lead to, that could potentially lead to long-term change. One of the things we did was a study on uh, food um, providers and people accessing food, and we found that there were some gaps. So one of the things that came uh, originally, uh, eventually around, was the seed. So the SEED is a community food project uh, based out of the health center and we do programs and services that build a more equitable food system in Guelph. Being a CHC, we, we look at alignment with the model of health and well-being and, and a commitment to health equity and it was a natural fit with the SEED program. It is just such a dynamic program that literally when I describe, I picture the model of health and well-being and it's beautiful pie and I could pull out any one piece of that pie and describe uh, the SEED's fit uh, with it. And so the immediate need is food, so we started with that. So we started with the Pod Fresh Food Warehouse. We thought, okay, we need a warehouse space, we need a place where we can gather really high quality fresh fruits and vegetables because that's what's missing. And then there were other partners that came along and other funding, and before we knew it, we were having our grand opening of the Pod Fresh Food Warehouse. And that was our first really tangible step of activity in the community. And the idea behind our work is that uh, Within emergency food provision, uh, there wasn't always uh, great access to fresh fruits and vegetables at low cost. So we're offering wholesale uh, pricing on fruits and vegetables so that our partners are able to give out more fresh fruit and vegetables to their clients and guests. So they're not just purchasing food from a food terminal and selling it at a raised price. They're building uh, relationships with farmers so we can be getting farm produce. Um, they're seeking opportunities for cold storage and if they're able to get a large order of carrots from a farmer, they're able to store that for us and we have access to that. We feel good about where we're buying our produce from. We feel like we're investing back into our community um, and we feel like we're just really furthering that goal of providing good quality food for everybody. If people are food insecure, it means they're probably insecure in other ways, right? So they probably don't have a stable job, maybe, or stable housing, or stable relationships. There are other things that are insecure in their life. If they're having to make choices about whether they buy food that week or pay rent. I live in poverty uh, and I have Crohn's disease, so my diet is really important to my health. You cannot be healthy if you can't afford to eat well. That's just a fact. And so it, it makes total sense for us to be a part of the community health center and we're really happy to be here. So one of the things the seed does is make it, uh, there is the sliding scale market piece, so you are paying, right? So I feel that my dignity is there because I'm paying something. We're trying to create a stigma-free market for people to get fresh food at affordable rates. But people telling stories about how they have been able to double the amount of vegetables they eat or they eat vegetables when they couldn't do that before, all, all kinds of things like that. And, and a lot of people just really feeling at home. Yeah. Um, it's not that we need to have more free food and more charities and uh, models and things. What we need is uh, for, for society to make change. So our Guelph Youth Farm is a really innovative project that we're super excited about. And that program is not just about growing healthy food and learning, learning through having your, your hands in the soil, but it's also more importantly about developing leadership, self-confidence, community around these youth to really help them set sail on their next steps. When we look at the youth urban farm, we realize that there are several youth in our community who are underemployed, who don't have access to education, who for many of the social determinants are, are a challenge to achieve. Recognizing that and, and then also seeing the need for enhanced uh, food literacy and food access, the seed married those social determinant needs of the youth together with that food access and created this brilliant program uh, that truly takes, uh, creates opportunities for youth to, to be leaders in our community.
One thing that's really exciting for me about the seed is how innovative it is and how the staff and our centre can think outside the box to really solve some problems for our community in a way that's collaborative, that's inventive, that is, you know, running towards a problem and seeing the best way we can to solve that. All the profits from those markets go back into our food insecurity reduction work here as well. And so I think hope is critical. I think social enterprise is critical because uh, the way it frees you up from total dependence on funding and, more importantly, because the way social enterprise inspires people and shows people that their work can have tangible results. $21,170. Superheroes is the fundraiser for The Seed. We have an annual campaign where we um, make and sell these as well as the hot soup to raise money for our programs. It's so much more than a fundraiser as well. It's completely volunteer driven. It's a community builder. Some youth that have been split from families or whatever they might be, or elderly who are shut-ins that they've lost their partner. To be able to bring them back into the community, I feel pretty lucky to be able to do that. Shouldn't health centers and hospitals and other health institutions have community food projects as part of their day-to-day -day working reality? because what could be more related, intimately related to health than food? Because investing in primary care means front-end early intervention and changing health trajectories. Access to healthy food does that. It changes health trajectories. So, I mean, as much as we need food right now, um, you know, safe, accessible, affordable food, eventually I'd like just, you know, the world to change, that we don't need the seed. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, everyone can go out and, and, and buy their own healthy um, and, and the food that they want and need.